Alright guys, I did my own Reborn doll. Um, I'm going to be really quick about this. Um, it is the Jewel Kit by Denise Pratt. Very adorable baby kit. Uh, it's a vinyl. And this was my very first Reborn doll ever. I only went off of video tutorials on YouTube and I had not read his hair yet. I know it's wrapped in a pink blanket. And it does have girl clothes on only because I don't have any boy clothes yet. But, um, a few things I do want to tell you. I am going to be redoing the nails. I don't like the color of them. And some of the creasing on the forehead and the neck. I'm not, I'm not very pleased with the colors I used. So I'm going to redo those. And, um, what else? I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of unwrap it here. Okay. I'm just going to start with the feet, which I do have it all covered. You know. Trying not to be too, too revealing. Got these cute little booties on him. I know I keep saying him. It's a her right now. But it eventually will be a him. But... I'm not pleased with the nail color, not really, I don't like the tips, I think they're too thick, and these nails are darker than these ones, as you can tell. I'm not really, ha I should have used a darker tan color, but it's okay for the undertones, I guess. It'd be okay though. So there's the feet, I got the face covered so you can't see it yet. I'm going to show you the hands, and this isn't my favorite hand, but I have sand in there in a nylon stocking. I actually have two nylon stockings because sand will eventually wear this material down, especially on the inside from how grainy it is. So there's one hand. I love, love, love this hand because it's just so, you know... Anyway, flexible. <laughs> See the nails though, they're really dark, they look like they're painted red, like, I don't know, just weird. I think I'm going to do more of a uh, dark brown tan maybe. And I'm also going to switch out the body because this came from my Coco Malu kit, but it's not named that when I bought it uh, on eBay. It was actually, I don't know, it, it, it was from China, so it wasn't really a well painted kit. I'm actually going to redo that one. But I just, I love how heavy the vinyl is. Just likes to fall. This arm's a little, not, it's not very loose. Not as loose as the other one. So I need to loosen the zip ties on that when I get the different body. But there is the face. And I'm not sure why, but oh, on the camera, the blue undertones on the bridge of his nose look really dark. They're not that dark in person. But yeah show you the lips and the light how glossy they are got a little gloss under the crease of his eye um, and right here on his nose got that glossed also he is a bit shiny at the moment because I need to get an outdoor matte sealer for him I used air dry paints just your typical um, folk art acrylic paint you can buy it at Walmart you use distilled water to thin them and if you're really passionate about making Reborns, you know, I mean, it's, it, honestly, it cost me, let's see, 25 for the kit, and the lady I bought him from was so super nice, I got him in like two days, um, the hair was about 20, the rooting tool was about 20, I, you know, I probably put 150 bucks into it, but that's better than paying 300 plus dollars for a doll the same thing and you know it might not be what you want maybe not the hair you want so then you have to go back and redo the hair or maybe you have to go back and do the creasing or maybe you just have to strip the whole thing and redo it again but if you have to do that I don't know why you bought it in the first place um show you the head got a bow on there because it doesn't like to stay on the head otherwise. So, see his veins, his mottling, 
Um, he's got a soft spot right here. And also, right there. And if you see the creasing right there, I'm not pleased with that. I don't know why that is so dark. Um... I think I'm gonna use a dark brown for that and also the ones on the forehead because the forehead's really really dark and weird looking and I'm, I don't like it. It The paint kind of spreads easily like watercolor so yeah but I do still have to root the hair on this. I have uh, I'm not sure what kind of I think it's premium angoria hair or Angora, however you pronounce that. Um, let me grab that real quick. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I found the hair. I had it put up. Um, let me go ahead and just move him and all that. Okay, so this is what it came in in the mail. It was, um, it got here to me in about, I don't know, five days maybe. Wasn't too, too long. I wasn't really anticipating much. Anyway, I also have my rooting tool in there, which it, it didn't come with, but I put it in there anyway. This, these needles are a 38 gauge regular, and I'm not, I don't like them at all. Sit that down there because this worked the other day. Okay, you guys see the, the barbs on this needle? There you go. Got like four on each side, so it's grabbing like 20 hairs at once. I don't like that at all. And I'm going to show you of what that actually looks like because the doll that I had oh, this is her card, the lady I got the hair from. Okay, custom Angora goat hair, but let me focus that there. Sorry. I don't know why it's not focusing at all. Okay, well, there we go. A child with a nursery. Go ahead and put that in your phone, whatever you want to do. This focus deal is really making me upset. Okay, whatever, I'll put a link below. Anyway, this is what it came in. It is. Take the hair out. It's very dark brown. It's very nice. Set this up so I can show you guys. Just a, it's a half ounce, which I mean this I mean this alone is probably enough to do one doll. It's very, very soft. It's not like that weird mohair that they use on, you know, other dolls. It's wavy. I know it looks black, but it's just, it's really, really, really dark brown. Which is going to be perfect because her eyes are blue. Dark blue. So, I may order some different color eyes. But anyway, yeah, that's the hair. And this is the mushroom tool. It's very tiny. It's Honestly, it's, I thought it was going to be a little bigger than this, but as you can see, it literally fits in the palm of my hand. Um, it comes with three of these pieces so when one wears down just exchange another one but this was all a package it was like 23 bucks the needles I don't like they're 38 gauge regular I'm pretty sure and I will show you why my reborn kit thing here okay okay so this is my Coco Malu kit that I got online the paint job is awful there's no creasing on her um, ignore the eyebrows. I did that. I was testing because I'm going to strip her and redo her. You know, it, it's just awful. I may actually exchange the eyes from this kit to my jewel kit. But anyway, um, so yeah, that is that. You know, she just had no, I mean, this is ridiculous. $85 and she Look at her veins. I don't even know if you can see those. They're all wise. They all look like that. Which is very saddening. Literally, shh, right there. Same on the foot. She has a little creasing on this leg, but hardly. 
like another vein right there, or thigh. They're all the same on every limb. Don't know why they are. I like this hand only because it has one little finger. She's very tiny kit, very very tiny kit. So there's yeah that. But anyway, so yeah um anyway, so if you guys want to order that mohair, it's very soft. It's not really rough like the other one. There's her card, the Child Within Nursery. You can find her on eBay. Um, I'll put a link for her below. There's her email. And there's her number. Not very expensive at all. She's got multiple colors. Red, you know, all any kind of hair color you want. She's probably got it. Um, this rooting tool you have to buy separate. But outside of that, um, you know... Leave me comments in below on how you think I did for my first reborn. I don't feel I did too shabby. Just let me know what you think. Any any uh, experienced reborn artists out there, please give me feedback on anything you can. Tips on how to do things, brushes, um, paints, anything. Please let me know. I will be more than happy to have your feedback. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and um, hope you guys share my video and get me some experienced reborners out there to give me some tips. But thank you guys, and I hope you guys have a blessed day, and uh, thanks for watching.